Hello everyone, this is Samuel again, and in this video, I want to talk about a good Bible passage to use when witnessing to Catholics. Now, some time ago, I was at a mall outreach, and I saw a young man sitting on a bench, and I decided to approach him, and I introduced myself. I said that I'm, I go to a local church, and I asked him my favorite question that I pretty much ask everyone when I'm out evangelizing. And that question is, are you going to heaven? And as I'm talking with this young man, I find out that he is a Catholic law student. And as we're talking, usually when someone says that they're Catholic, I usually find out that they believe in Jesus. They believe that he died on the cross for their sins and rose from the dead. But I decided to ask him, do you believe that the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ alone is sufficient for you to be right with God. And what did he answer? He answered no. He said that you have to add something. You have to add your good works. And the reason why I'm making this video is because this is a trend that I've noticed when I've spoken with people who have identified as Catholic. They believe that, yes, Jesus did die for their sins and rise from the dead, but it's not sufficient. You have to add something. So you have to believe in Jesus on this hand, and you have to put in your good works and your effort to be justified before God. And I believe that the scriptures teach differently. So when this young man said this, I said, you know what? Can I show you something in the Bible, a, a passage? And I pulled out my little New Testament here, and I opened to Hebrews chapter 10, verses 10 through 14. And I'm, I'm gonna go through this brief, I'm gonna go through this in this video, and I would definitely recommend writing down this passage because it is such a good passage to use for anyone who believes that you have to add something to the work of Christ in order to be accepted by God, whether they're Catholic or Mormon or some kind of Christian denomination or any type of professing Christian or professing believer. So I opened up my Bible and I proceeded to read to him Hebrews chapter 10 verses 10 through 14. And I will start here. Hebrews 10, 10. It says, by this will we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Now in verse 10, he says, by this we will have been sanctified. And the this here is, the, is Jesus coming to earth and Jesus living this life of obedience and him ultimately dying on the cross and rising from the dead in his own body, right? So Jesus was, was incarnated. He lived in obedience to the Father, and he took our sin upon himself on the cross and rose from the dead. That's what the this is. But look at this in verse 10 here. It says, by this we will have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ. So what he's saying here is that through Jesus' sacrifice, we are set apart. We're sanctified or we are made holy before God through Jesus' sacrifice. And he says once for all, once for all. So that one sacrifice that Jesus made 2,000 years ago sets us apart to God. He's not saying here that Jesus' sacrifice plus something else, plus our efforts, plus our works, plus our conformity to law, but it's Christ's sacrifice alone that makes us holy. What? But wait, it gets better. I'm going to keep reading. So verse 11 says, every priest stands daily ministering and offering time after time the same sacrifices. 
which can never take away sin. So if you're familiar with the Old Testament law, the priest would offer sacrifices over and over and over for the people for their sins to be forgiven. And he's comparing and contrasting this with the once for all time sacrifice that Jesus made that takes away our sins for all time and puts us in a right relationship with God for all time. So verse 12, it says, but he having offered one sacrifice for sins for all time, sat down at the right hand of God, waiting from that time onward until his enemies be made a footstool for his feet. Now here's the other golden verse here, Hebrews 10, 14. For by one offering, he has perfected for all time those who are sanctified or those who are, who, who are set apart as holy. So what I want to highlight here and what you can highlight here to your Catholic friends or if you are watching this video and you're not trusting in Jesus Christ alone for your forgiveness, it says here, by one offering, he has perfected for all time. So Christ's offering puts us in a perfect position before God. It perfects the worshiper so that we are presentable before God. So two things here. The sacrifice of Jesus sets us apart and it perfects us positionally before God, which is telling us that the sacrifice or the death and resurrection of Jesus is sufficient. It's sufficient for our relationship with God. It's sufficient for us to come into the presence of God. One sacrifice for all time. So if it perfects us and sets us apart, what do we need to add of our own effort? So again, I encourage you to write this down, study it, memorize it. Hebrews chapter 10, verses 10 through 14. And the next time someone says, I'm trusting Christ and I'm also trusting myself, you can say, well, why are you trusting yourself when Jesus, through one sacrifice, has perfected us before God for all time? Thank you for watching this video.